Oh, guys, there's some big news recently. Uh, was that big news? Well, the big news is that there was a major advancement in the land of AI recently, spearheaded by a Chinese researcher via the creation of a virtual AI child, quote-unquote-unquote unquote child, and it's called Tung Tung. Some things that she was ca apparently capable of doing was fixing a crooked picture by using a stool properly, and if someone were to spill some milk, she would clean it up with a towel, and that was about it. Now, the unique aspect of these actions is the fact that she can independently assign herself these goals and then proceed to do the tasks that she assigned herself, which is unique in comparison to other AI models. She uh, also displays behavior and capabilities that are in line with three to four year old human children, apparently, and can supposedly independently enhance her own skills, knowledge and values. The reason why, though, that this is so huge in AI research is because a big goal for modern-day AI researchers is making AI that can physically and socially act akin to humans. You know, like demonstrating similar normal human behavior, which, if we take these claims of Tung Tung at face value, is huge for that goal. Like, it is pretty huge. To be completely fair, this is like this really is like all fascinating stuff. You know, I did have a fun time re reading about it, and I can't wait to see a video where these abilities are on full display. But uh, despite this, however, I do think that the framing is pretty bad, and it's good at it's pretty good at like fooling people who aren't familiar with AI into having a deeper reaction to this than than what is than what it actually is, and like what is reflective of reality, I guess. To start off, I guess, I mean, like, all of these responses are programmed, like, every single one, albeit it's extraordinarily good programming, it's still, program it's still programmed to do all of these actions, making it meaningfully distinct and different from human sentience. You know, um, human humans aren't programmed and then trained on large data sets to understand what it is to be human. You know, we are born with human nature that then precedes us to inform us on what we value and how we act as humans. Tung Tung, however, needs specific programming to understand all of the basic aspects of humanity and things we generally value as uh, humans, and even the behavioral aspects, which are all things that hu humans intuitively operate off of. The things that humans intuitively operate off of are things that need to be codified into the fucking AI bot, Tung Tung. -tung. You know, as humans, we do end up, like, learning different things. You know, maybe we might change, like, how we view things morally the more we live through life. But the more we live life, but we are still biological beings that naturally have intuitions and certain ways of acting that are distinctively human, which AI simply doesn't have without programming. It literally just doesn't. It needs the programming to even get close at all. You know, a lot of these claims as well are not verified and there's like no video proof of these actions being on display as well, which is why I took it with a grain of salt. And I think you should too, you know, um, until there's evidence or there's like a third party, third party verification, you really shouldn't trust like these claims on a hundred percent. You should view it as a thing where it's like, if it's true, then that's pretty cool. I do feel like identifying Tong Tong as a child as well kind of makes us apply human standards and a uh ethics that we wouldn't normally ascribe to it you know there's like there's just more ethical implications to it that we wouldn't typically grant to other ai models as of now and when we see the child part i feel when most people see the child part i feel like it makes us start viewing it more as a human and in turn valuing it with human ideals and values you know we start to view it less as just like another robot and more as a human just because of the word child alone you know that descriptor massively changes how we view it do I think this is a coincidence? Fuck no. I think the, I think in my opinion that this is obviously on purpose since it falls in line with a lot of the, uh, I don't know, the dr dramatic dramatization. I think it's how you say it. Um, that AI lovers tend to spew out their ass so much, you know, because listen, a AI gaining sentience are that's basically like AI lovers wet dreams. So even if something is, so even so, if something about AI is disingenuously framed, you know, as long as it, as it's in alignment with the ultimate goal of having a super intelligent sentient ai taking over all humans and all of our jobs so we can never do anything with our lives ever again we, we can become all wally humans <laughs> it's it's uh it's all good in their eyes because uh you know it's it's in alignment with their goal <laughs> but listen listen jokes aside uh tong tong is very interesting it really is and definitely sets like a new precedent and milestone for ai researchers but don't be fooled by the disingenuous framing that tries to purposefully blur the line between humans and machines which will become more and more true as time goes on unfortunately but at least you know now some of the trickery behind it you know so 
don't like just don't be a bot that falls for the AI craze when it's really not that crazy. But yeah. Anywho, I feel like I made my point, and I hope you, the viewer, I hope I made you guys more informed about the, about the topic now, so you maybe not be. So maybe you guys are just like not as susceptible, I guess, to a lot of the misinformation that's about out there. And I would absolutely appreciate and love you guys to subscribe and drop a like since, you know, clearly, I, clearly I'm so important to the world for my infinite internal wisdom. But yeah, um, yeah, I hope you stick around, I guess.